came out to do some work on this little well pump. There's a big chunky soft start that starts it. Got some current monitoring, some overload action, and here's the well head. This ain't your grandma's well pump. This thing's no joke. I'm not sure how deep it is, but it is a 250 horsepower, according to the nameplate. I'm not about to pull it up and verify. But anyway, I came here to take some current readings, or at least I was attempting to, until I got distracted with how the magnetic field was affecting my amp clamp. I, I need to focus. This is ridiculous. Focus. 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 The regular amp clamp won't fit around those parallel sets of 500s, so I'm going to have to break out the old flaccid clamp 5000 to get around all of them at once. What? But it did start making me think, when I have parallels, should I measure all of them at once, or should I measure them individually and add them? Guess it depends on what cranky old electrician taught you. But I decided to try both, so here I am measuring them all at once, and I got a value of 295 amps. So now, we're going to go ahead back to the regular clamp, and do them one at a time. We got 97 for one of our parallels, 101.5 for another one. And way in the back, if we can stuff the old meter in there, got the clamp closed, we got 99.4. Now we'll just do some quick maths, and we know that we have 297.9 as a total, so we're a little above that 295. Now motor loads do vary a little bit, and my meters haven't been calibrated since I bought them, but it's pretty close. So if you just want a total, go ahead and wrap it around all three parallels. But if you want something more accurate, I would also measure them one at a time. And remember, this is all within the same phase, so if you see a big imbalance between parallels, you might have a wire going bad. Or it's just a really janky installation, that's why they tell you to take the same path and make them the same length. But it's all information you're missing out on if you just measure the total, so this is what I'm going to try to do from now on. See you next time.